The Census of Marine Life has released the most comprehensive inventory of life in the ocean to date. It's an unprecedented database of marine species living in 25 key ocean areas around the world. The findings, published in the open access scientific journal PLOS One, describe species found in oceanic regions ranging from icy Antarctic waters to the tropics to temperate waters throughout the world and the Arctic. This is the first time ever that all the information is available in one single source for the public worldwide. So anyone around the world who wants to know about Caribbean marine biodiversity, for example, just goes to one place, clicks, will have a full article, and then we'll also have, through the supporting material, we'll have list of species of the most representative or most studied groups in the area. The study found that some of the largest and best known sea creatures make up only a tiny portion of the ocean's biodiversity. Animals like whales, seals, seabirds, turtles, and walruses account for only 2% of the known marine species in the 25 regions, while crustaceans, including crabs, lobsters, and shrimp, account for nearly 20%. Microscopic algae and single-celled organisms are the most widespread. Researchers observe these tiny organisms throughout the studied areas. The waters of Australia and Japan share the title of most biodiverse, each with almost 33,000 known species, nearly three times the average. Researchers also found that some of the top five most diverse areas are also the most threatened. These include the waters of the Mediterranean, China, and the Gulf of Mexico. Having an open access database that is a framework of the known marine biodiversity is one of the most useful tools you can have, not just for scientists, but especially for policymakers, because they are the ones who will make the decisions about what will be done with the oceans, what measures will be taken to protect it. But even with this new inventory of the sea, much work remains to be done. Census scientists estimate that for every known oceanic species, at least four more have yet to be discovered. And while future research will continue to expand our knowledge of the ocean, these latest findings represent a giant leap forward in our understanding of the wild and wonderful creatures that call it home.